Do I have sound now? I'm talking to myself, huh? How ridiculous is that? Yarrow did not push the sound button on. Okay, now that you guys had to read lips, I love you guys. Hold on. Hold on, so Pablo. Okay, so listen. I know, I'm not going to go there. Hold on. So, you guys, I'm going to repeat what you guys had to read my lips on trying to understand. So, here we go again. Ready? Live from Jewel Tool headquarters, I'm Ani, creator and inventor of the Jewel Tool. This little magic machine, as my customers call it, will be faceting this gem show. This is gem show. Blah, 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 blah. Gemstone, where am I? On today's live show. It's awfully blurry, Yarrow. When is it going to? Oh, there it is. It's focused. So, you guys, this is a piece of corundum that I chose out of that pile of rubies and sapphires that I that we did the cap on an earlier show. But today I want I found a taller one, so I want to cap this sucker. So I ground it down. Yes, it's glued on the top of a nail head. You see, this is an actual nail. So you guys, let me get rid of this. I want to see people. Hold on, I got to see the post. Oh, hello, Diana Schnitt. Okay, here, let everyone, everyone says there's no sound. I love it, you guys, sorry. So you guys, as you guys trickle in, I'll say hi in a bit. But you guys, I just want you to know, I, I, Ani, that's me, have not ever faceted a gemstone on the jewel tool. So today is my first time doing it on a dop stick. So we actually did faceting. Remember when we changed the cap on the labradorite and we turned it into a faceted gemstone? That was kind of cool. I should revisit that and we should do that again. Maybe we'll do that on Friday giveaway. We'll see. But for the most part, I haven't ever done it on a dop stick. Oh, UPS is here. Mingo's going to bark. Mingo, come here. Hold on, you guys. This is live. <laughs> Mingo, stay here. Good boy. That's a good boy. You stay and you hide behind mom. So, you guys. Oh, who said this? <laughs> Helen Wagner just came back from a seven mile hike and she said she was going to nap, but she prefers to watch me. Helen, I'll keep you going. Okay, so you guys, let me say it has a mint has a mint green piece on it, Albert. I don't know what you're saying, Albert, but my bad. Okay, so let me tell you guys. Again, I glued it to a piece of, uh, like a nail. I want to say a piece of nail. No, it's a nail. It's a literally a metal nail and it's rusted. It's whatever I had here. So basically, I took this glue. This is the glue I used for everyone's going to ask. I gl you gl used this glue. There you go. It, you know, you can honestly use any super glue. Uh, this doesn't have any superpowers. It just happens to be the glue that Yara bought, and it's the only glue I have right now. So, you guys, I, so before I glued it, you guys have seen me do a video. I have one video in my playlist that says how to apply a stone on a dop stick or a nail. I showed you guys how to do that. So, I, I, I want to say I scored, but if you don't know what that means, but I rough the surface of the top of the nail, like the top of the nail, I rough the surface with the purple 80 grit, <laughs> and I made it rough. So you want it rough so that the glue can stick to the stone. And preferably, since it's a raw stone, the back of the stone was also rough. So I didn't have any shiny surfaces either on the bottom of the stone or the top of the nail head. Capiche? Capiche. Hey. Hey. Okay, you guys. So, oh, first, let me say you guys say something to you guys all. I just want to thank you guys all for signing the petition that I asked for you. Uh, I asked you guys to sign. Thank you so much for doing that. But one thing I forgot to mention and a lot of people who are posting are mentioning this, and I was like, oops, I forgot to mention, that once you sign the petition, they will send you an email to confirm because you're, they don't want you know robots doing this. So don't forget, you guys, if you sign the petition, 
you will get one email just to confirm. You won't get multiple emails on the multiple petitions. You'll just get one email that will ask you to confirm. You just push a link and that will be the end of it. They'll say thank you. So I'm sorry I forgot to mention that. I don't this is all still new, you guys, and I'm trying to follow all the rules and uh, anything you guys can do to help is much appreciated. Today, actually, um, yeah, basically, um, to just to help promote peace and justice, you know, of innocent, pe uh, innocent Armenians, you know, my people. There's so many people that I know that have family there, which is like really hits close to home. So today, actually, in Los Angeles, they're going to be doing a big, like a peaceful um, march in, in w uh, on Wilshire Boulevard in downtown, uh, not in downtown, on Wilshire Boulevard in front of the Azerbaijan Embassy um, at 6 p.m. So if you guys are in the area, <laughs> um, go. I don't know if I'm be going. Kind of gets, kind of get a little nervous on stuff like that, but. I'll do, I do everything on my end to support. I'm spreading the word, which I did with you guys and on my social media. Um, what's, what's crazy is, you know, you guys, I posted a link to the Armenia Fund for, like, donations. Like, that Armenia Fund is literally going to a group here in Glendale, California, and on Friday, they're going to send a huge shipment to of aid to Armenia. So they're even asking, like, even... Before money, they're asking the locals, which is me, they need sleeping bags, the soldiers are sleeping on the floor, they need soldiers' uh, shoes, anything from a size 9 and up, they need uh, sweets <laughs> to keep the soldiers al uh, awake at night, uh, they ask for cigarettes, because, you know, I don't know if you know, but Armenians smoke a lot in Armenia, um, and uh, warm blankets, because it's getting cold in those regions. So. So we were not equipped for this. Like, um, uh, you know, uh, unlike what popular media is saying, we, we're not <laughs> the people attacking. We wouldn't attack our own people. We're only 3 million people versus their 100 million. So let's do the math. But anyways, I'm grateful for so many of my international viewers. They're sending me such amazing messages of support. And I'm just like, my heart is overflowing with the support and uh, unity, and I'm and I'm grateful to the president of France, who just said that he's going to have a meeting tonight with the United Nations because he finds that what uh, the the support of Turkey is the what was the word he used was I, I forgot it was just horrible he said so anyways I don't know all the details I just am doing my part as an Armenian to support them. Um, yeah, yesterday they s to support Armenians. Yes. So, anyways, you guys, I uh, I just really want to thank you guys again for all your support and your love. You guys mean everything to me. So, let's get going. Okay. Oh, there's one more thing I want to say, you guys. This is something that I'm kind of. Oh, Debbie Rogers said she she did some research on Armenia. Really sad what's happening there. Just don't understand why others have to hurt innocent people over a regional area. You know, it's a it's it's a century old issue. It's basically at the you know they don't want us around. <laughs> but guess what? We're all over. So all I wanna say is um I just wanna say hi to everyone. So I'm pulling up my phone. I just happened to see that. Hello, Claudine Sava. Hello, Albert. Congratulations on your jewel tool. Hello, Karen, Miller Anderson, Lisa Weber. And we've got, oh my goodness, we've got Susan Weiner and Karen, and we got Liz Weber. And we have Ellie Grossman. Hello. Are you hear me now? I love that. Hi, Deanna Schnitzka. Hello, hello, hello. Um, and we have, oh, we got a lot. Oh, you guys, thanks for the love. Mm, I'm going to bounce you back. Thank you, guys. And Farah. Hi, Farah. Hi, Carol Barnett. You're so cute. Thank you, and thanks for, uh, hi Heidi, and Tom, hi Tom, Glenda and Tom, your jewel tool is going out today, hi Glenda, hello, and of course Debbie Rogers, and Margaret Shindel, Mwah. hello, hello, okay, so you guys, today I'll be fastening this gemstone, you guys wish me well, haven't done this before, 
Oh, one thing I wanted. Oh, hi, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie and Mendes. Uh, Menzies, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So I'm going to facet this sapphire. It's a corundum, so sapphire, you know, whatever. It's from that pile of, remember all those uh, rubies and sapphires in that mix that I had poured out? Oh, wow, yeah, that's really, really blurry. So, yeah, so I pulled a larger piece out of this. And I'm going to facet it. So you guys, listen, one thing I want to show you guys, Yara's like already making me work. Yara's like a Russian. Work on, well, what have I done? <laughs> work. <laughs> so one thing you guys have to check out, and I did this just uh, before we went on air, is the height of your stone with your tool rest. And I'm going to explain that right now. So before we get faceting, I'm going to explain something, and you might have to modify your tool rest. You might. The word is might, depending on how tall the stone is. So mine is really, really tall. But if it's a shallow stone, you might not have to do this. But I'm going to show you guys how to modify your tool rest to bring it a little lower. Okay? So yesterday you guys saw that I raised the spindle, which is a good thing. So the spindle raising was really good so we yeah we raised the spindle up and i showed you guys how to do that with the allen key okay let me take this out so now the the tool rest you guys it has like a little area where it's going to stop once it gets fed into the hole so right here you guys see how once it goes in the hole it stops right here you see how it has a little stopper right there you see that it so, uh, doesn't allow you to go deeper. Now, if I want to lower this tool rest, like, like bring it down like a quarter inch, I would have to modify this, uh, this area right here. And as you can see, I did. I've modified this one. Hold on. You guys see the little extra? Yeah. No, it's fine. That, that, that's good view. So what I want to show you guys is how to modify your tool rest. In the event your tool rest is too is too tall so this is what i mean let me show you guys and so this is what you guys will be looking at so like let me use just this so so for example right here since i raised this okay side view so since you guys i raised the spindle you don't have to modify the tool rest but before that, my spindle was way too low, and I had very little clearance. Like, it was just barely, like, right here. But we, since we raised the spindle yesterday, Yara, it made a huge difference. So I, didn't ha I don't need to modify the tool rest anymore, which is kind of cool. Yara says, that's cool. That's cool, right, Yara? So in the event that you have a bigger stone, and, like, you can't pull this clearance. Do you guys see that? Yara, can you show them? Like, it, let's say if it was a really big stone you're faceting, you would, ha you would modify your tool rest. But right now, I think the best scenario is just to raise the spindle like we did yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys one more time. If you guys missed yesterday's show on how to raise your spindle, let's do that. You guys see that? Right here. So you guys see that there's two holes here? Right there. So this is the area that you would stick this set this allen key in you see that oh i ground it yesterday yarrow so you would go like this and you would gently loosen it you wouldn't go crazy and loosen it hold on let me do this it's really tight yesterday i tightened it a lot and so you would okay i am so you just loosen it just ever so lightly you don't want to do too much or else this little set screw you see right here will come flying out and you'll have to be on your hands and knees looking for it. And so you just raise it just ever so slightly. You see that? So you don't want to pull it off. Just a little raise makes a big difference. And now you tighten it. To make it tighter, I will use this little handle. Oop, did it just drop? It just dropped. Hold on. And do it tighter. There we go. You see how nice and tight it is now? There. So I raise the spindle a little bit. Do you see that? So you really have to make sure, you guys, once you raise the spindle, to really keep all dust away from that area. You see that? 
you know even I even take like a wet cloth and I always take any kind of debris and I clean that area this is very important you do not want any even though there has a seal I swear these little critters that little that little those little tiny tiny tiniest particles can weasel their way in you know through a little bit of vibration over a course of a period into your motor and cause your motor to make noise but that would happen over years of you not cleaning your jewel tool or leaving like a pile of dust there you're not supposed to leave a pile of dust there you know you got to give your jewel tool love it gives you the love you got to give it back so i'm going to use my coarse diamond to start doing the um the the facets now remember you guys this is my first time doing this so bear with me you guys i'm learning as we go along which is kind of cool so i'm gonna grab you guys huh. i'm gonna grab the the fine um the fine diamond because i don't want it to yes the fine grinding diamond so it would be basic it's actually the new one i'm using i'm using this one look you guys right here it's cut really really delicious they're sh they're really nice and sharp so i had said yesterday to put these little locks on you see that but for now i don't know if i'm going to use them let's go ahead and Yes, so I'm, so I'm going to use the tool rest, and we'll decide the, the, what's it called? You can tighten them. If some people don't like any kind of wiggle, if you don't want any wiggle, let's go ahead and do this. Mm -hmm. Hi, Kat. How are you? Hi, Yep, BK. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Nicole Ritchie. Hello, Liz Weber. Hi, Kathy Keaton. If you guys are watching, please say hi. I'd like to say hello. So I went ahead and locked this in. And I'm basically going to hold. Let me, should I zoom in a little? No, I think it's fine. So I'm going to hold this and kind of kind of feed it like this and keep switching it. That's all I'm going to do over and over and over again, you guys. So what I did was I actually ground the outside of this a little to kind of give it like some kind of a shape. Do you guys see how I kind of cabbed it a little? I mean, it was like a, a chunk of nothing, really. It was like nothing. Okay. So I will. There. Oh, so thank you. Yaro just posted. The, oh, thanks, Yaro. For, for all of you guys who didn't, who were kept asking me about the link for the petition, Yaro just pinned it again. And again, if you sign the petition, thank you so much. And just remember, you have to um, confirm your email. They'll send you one email, and one email will confirm all the petitions. So thank you so much. Anyways, let's get started. <coughs> I'm so excited. So, okay, Yaro, stop. So I'm going to use the fine. Let me, oh, since you have the tool rest, you don't get the ability to put the water tray. So the water is just going to be off to the side, and I'll just dip my hand in it. So let me go ahead and do that. There you go. So we're just adding just regular water, nothing special. Some people always ask me, what did you use? I'm like, it's water, regular tap water. You don't even have to use fancy water. Let me put my lights on. They're on. There, are they on? Oh, well, there you go. There, now I can tell when they're, when they're off, I can tell when they're off. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to choose this one. Now, you can choose this one, too. It doesn't really make a difference. Maybe I should just stick to this one. What do you think, Yaro? I think I'm going to stick to this one. There you go. Yeah, Yaro says whatever speaks to you. Thanks, Yaro. So this is at running at full speed, you guys. Wish me luck. So we're going to grind it right there. You know what I want to do? Oh, wow, look at that already, you guys. Can you see that, Yaro? I'm going to go ahead and use a silver Sharpie to color it in. So here, I'll do that again so you guys can see it. There we go. Let it dry. 
So look what I did already so fast. How cool was that? You guys see that? So you just got to make sure you're stable. Don't get crazy. Just wait for it to grind. Wait for it to grind. Oh, it's nice and clean cut. So I chose... What? Oh, okay. You do that, Yara. I'm going to put... So when if you're going to put water, you guys do it from this direction a little. Kind of, you know, where the wheel is kind of going in that direction. You see how I'm kind of putting... I'm feeding it there. So I pretty much did the facets. You guys see them here? I don't think I need to do any more. Maybe I'll hit one right there. I don't know. I got that there. I got that there. So remember, this is not a com perfect round cab. I, I kind of kept it a little organic. So let me just hit it right here with a little bit more. What? Oh, my left hand is in the way. Oh, Yara says hold it from underneath because I'm hindering the picture. So there. Oh, shoot, I didn't even lock it. Oh, it's very important to lock, you guys. Oops. I'm wondering why it was moving. Here, I'll go over it again. Okay, now you can see. I'll do it again. So that's cool. So hold on. Let's see if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Hold on. And I'm going to grind that tip down and we'll get a nice flat little area. But let me go ahead and do this so you guys can see it. It's when you do something like this, you can really see the definition. Hold on, let it dry. Here, look. You guys see the facet? I put one there. I put one there. And if they're all like the size you want, this is a little wonky, but we'll probably fix that on the side. I don't know. So I'm going to change the angle a little bit. So I'm going to start faceting on the outside. So this is going to be a, a faceted cab. You guys with me? Woo, it's kind of, it happens so fast, you guys. So remember, before I started, I kind of created like the initial, you know, shape. Granted, it's not the most perfect oval. I still have some. Oh, yeah. K Kristen, uh, g there it is. I have it right here. They were using it, Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Margaret got me these whiter ones. Thank you, Margaret. I'm actually going to use that. Let's do that right now. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Margaret, they look so much better. Look at this. Yeah, actually, it does show off better. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you for these. I really appreciate it. So you guys see that? Right there. Boom, 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 boom. That even looks pretty. So I. So now you guys, watch. I kiss you too. Thank you. So you guys, I have this set at 118 degrees, 118 degrees. Right here. Yeah, you want to see? show that? Right here. So basically, it's this. It's 118 degrees. Where am I? Right here. 118 is what I had it set at. Right here, 118. So, oh, hold on. Then let me, okay, let me loosen this. Let me loosen it and flip it. So I'm using it on this side. The one with the slots in it. Do you see that? So right here. And you guys can see how it clicks. Well, I got to hold both at the same time to click. There you go. You see how it clicked? Okay, I'm moving it with my hand. I shouldn't do that. So at 118 is what I had it set at right now. So now I'm going to change the degr degree. I don't know if I want to go fully to 90 because that's a huge jump. I might go in between 90 right here. So what the beauty about this tool rest is you can set it at any angle you want and just lock it there. So if I choose somewhere in between and lock it, it's not going to move. So I'll have facets going all the way around this piece. But do you guys see how it did that real quick? Boom, boom, boom. How cute is that? So let's get going. So I'm going to change the angle. First, I'm going to unlock it, loosen it. Just loosen it a little. And then just, so this is at 90. Want to see what it looks like at 90? I don't know how it's going to look at 90. Should I test it? I don't want to ruin it, but whatever. 
I think 90 would be cool. Let's try 90. <laughs> I love how I just like question. I'm like, well, let's try it. And add some water here, just a little. I already put some on my piece. So let me do like let me do a little little sampler. Hold on. Let's see what this looks like. That's pretty good. Let me move my hand. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, so always that's a good idea, Yara. Thank you for telling me that. So you see how every time I hit it, I pull it back and I rotate. So you don't want to rotate while you're grinding. So look how I grind right now and I let go. And then I, I pivot and I do it again. Right there, I stop and I pivot and I do it again. Well, remember, this is demonstration. I'll do it a few times. Okay, so it, the whole idea is for you to learn. Oh, I should put the vacuum on. There we go. I kind of like that angle. And I think I'm done. There's enough. So let's go ahead and see what I've done so far. Oh, okay, hold on. So now I kind of, so you guys see, I kind of, I kind of actually. Okay, so I still have my facets at the top. Oh. I still have my facets at the top, you guys, and I created more facets on the side. Now, if you feel as though those facets were a little bit, they kind of got a little short, you know, you can actually go back, watch this. So let's say I, f I feel like mm, maybe I shouldn't have ground so much. I get a little overzealous doing it twice to show you guys. You know, so like let me touch up those a little bit more. So to get back to where I was, I'm going to move it back to the 118 degrees. So you see how it's great. You can always pop back. So I was at 90 right now. And so now I'm going to go back to 118. So I want to kind of grind those back again. Let me add some water. So let's kind of hit those just one more time. Just a little. Kind of want to wake them up just a little. There we go. Oh, I like the way. Yes, it's the equivalent of dropping it. There you go. Absolutely, Margaret. Exactly. So it's the same idea as dropping it when you're working on the jewel tool. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, same thing from the grinding. There you go. Hold on. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm not even listening to Yarrow. I'm like, yeah, whatever Yarrow says is good. Just listen to Margaret Schindel. She writes for a living. She knows how to say things properly. I'm doing Okay, so this I like. So you guys see this? So we now have multiple facets. I'm digging this. What do you guys think, huh? So now we're going to go in for the sides. I hope the sides look good. I just wish it was a little bit larger my stone, but Honest to God, this is just demonstration, you guys. This is not a show of, look what Ani can do. This show is designed to say, look at what you can do with the jewel tool, and you guys run with it. So let me go ahead and do the sides. So I'm going to, so I am going to change the degree because I like my facets right now. I mean, I guess I could put one right there. You guys, you think I should put one right there, like a little one? I think I should. Okay, so it's very simple. I'm going to loosen this and go back to 90, which is nice. Tighten it. And so I'm going to just put a little, where was it? Right here. I feel like that facet got a little too deep. So I need to meet those two. So I, I'll just kind of touch it. It's okay. Listen, this is like a, it's like an organic. <laughs> it's an organic facet, okay? So I'm just going to put a little facet there. Everyone will be happy. A nice little facet. So you guys see how I just put one little facet right there. Now the world is complete. So yeah, so you know, it's a, I call it like, it's kind of like, um, you know, laying bricks. It's kind of like that pattern. You kind of fill the little spot when you 
so I wouldn't put a facet right here. I'd put a facet right there. Stagger it. Yes, exactly, Yarrow. So now I'm going to go to, wow, I'm going to show, Yarrow, do you think 60 degrees is good? So, all right, so remember, you guys, I started off at 118. You see that? And then I went to 90. Hold on, let me click that back. I went to 90. And then now I'm going to do 60. Oh, Nelly. Let's see if, well, let's see what happens at 60. Woo. Okay. Wish me luck, guys. It's kind of fun, you guys. I'm not going to. So now the reason I'm kind of, so you're going to be a little bit, you might get off of the see-through. I might get off the see-through, Yarrow. Yeah. So if I'm off the see-through, so if you don't want to do that, you can actually um use your four inch wheel so look if i do m use my four inch wheel just for now just for visual purposes it it sits a little lower i can't get in there yarrow no it's sitting too low this is where you would have to lower your jewel tool never mind we're going back yep so we're just gonna go back we're just gonna keep it at four at three inch so you might not be able to see this angle you guys what Maybe I don't go so deep. Hold on, I'm going to actually see what this looks like. Okay, so I'm not going to go exactly 60. I'm going to go a little lower than 60 and tighten it. So make sure you tighten it, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit less than 60. I feel like 60 is a big jump, Yarrow. Yarrow says I can always change. I can always lower the spindle. That's true. I can always lower the spindle. Where am I? Oh, no. Okay, that's not enough. All right, I got to go back to 60. Yara was right, darn it. Yara was right. So let me go to 60. I guess 60 was good. All right, so there you go. So now you guys might not be able to see this. I can't even see it. So we're just going to hope for the best. How about that? So I'm going to look where I, I'm going to plan on hitting it right here. So let me push it in. Well, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to tilt it right here and hit it right there. Up. There you go. Oh, should I? I should have done here a little bit. Oh, well. All right, whatever, you guys. It's going to happen. I'm going to do this. I know, Yarrow. Well, that came out good. Okay, so there we go. Listen. I told you it was a big chunker piece. I'm doing my best here. I feel like I need to even go lower, Yaro. I need to even go even more of an angle. Because I feel like... Doesn't it have a cute little rose cut look? I love it. So I'm going to like go a little bit more in degree. Let's try this. What happened? She say? What she say? Yeah, you know what, Margaret? That would that's a really good idea. Margaret just suggested something really good. She said to kind of create your pattern with dots all the way around, and that way you have a guide. That's a really good idea. Too late. Too bad I didn't think of it. So at least it's creating nice flat, crisp ones. Yeah, you definitely could use it for the edges of your cuffs. Absolutely, Nicole, when you're tired. I know, just use your jewel tool. So there, I went ahead and did that there. Oh, Marge is back from the dentist. Oh, Marge, I know this is so much more fun. I'm sorry you had to endure that. So, okay, so I was, ahead, I was able to go ahead and do the sides. Wow, it came out so cool. That came out really, are you guys seeing this? I mean, I mine is a little random. I do like Margaret's idea on, 
there on the dots that's good so i'm just kind of hitting it it's good enough then if you want to touch it up <laughs> look just go like that done <laughs> there i fixed that one there we go all right so i think i'm good because the rest is the nail and i don't know i can't get in here because it's like curved i don't know if you guys know that but it's not like the greatest let me just try to get here i'll just do that freehand so there we go there that's part of the nail so i'm kind of doing that freehand because you guys see where the nail is i i don't want to change the angle i just rather do that and see it there you go so that came out pretty that's a cool little rose cut you guys see that pretty cool huh very pretty huh i'm quite impressed no, so now you guys, <laughs> Yaro goes, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Yaro goes, Yaro goes, that's really pretty. That came out really good. He goes, and for uh, now polishing, what are you going to do? <laughs> well, Yaro, we're going to follow the steps of the hard and soft stone lapidary kit. Where's that? Right there. Yes. So right here, you guys, let me go ahead and do this so you don't get a glare. So this is one of the pages of the manual called hard lapidary. That means for all stones, mineral crystals, hard glass, anything hard. This is your, this is your, the pull it out, y'all. Pull it out. There you go. So it gives you steps all the way down. And so far, I'm at this. However, y'all, stop. Okay. So, so far, I did not use the extra cords. I ended up using the fine in the in the gr heavy duty grinding wheel so then i'm going to touch it with the coarse the medium fine and very fine and then get to a polish with the brown uh diamond so let's see how this is going to work out fingers crossed people but so far it came out good right what do you guys think let me see what you guys are saying oh nice oh yes nicole i feel that this would be awesome for the edges of my cuffs too to help me keep it in straight yes when I'm tired in production mode, yes, I, I got I got good I got love. Thank you so much. I'll give it back. Yes. So Margaret's tip on that was smart, Margaret. I actually like that. Margaret suggested after you create like your little dome, like a rough cap, I would say doesn't have to be perfect. To you know, give yourself a guideline by uh, putting dots, putting a dot kind of where you want your facets to go. And that kind of gives you like some kind of guideline. You know what I mean? It's not, you're not going to follow it perfectly, but at least it would give you a guideline because I was going blind. I was literally just flying by the seat of my pants. So I like that idea. Thank you very much, Margaret. Good tip. Good tip. Check. Very nice. Hi, Robin. Polizzi. So Robin, we, or ju we just faceted, did the rough on this, the stone that I had. Remember all those rough rubies and uh, sapphires in that pile? I grabbed this and glued it. So I created a little bit of a, that's so cute. It's like a little rose cut. That is so cute. Now I have to polish it. So we did this right now. So I used the fine grinding diamond on this for all of you that are just joining in. That's this one. And I'm using the new one. The fine, so it's still extra coarse. Don't get me wrong. It's still an extra coarse family, but it's the finer one out of that heavy duty muscle. I call it the muscle family. So, <laughs> you know, so that's what we did right now. So now I'm going to get off of this one. And, and you know, you guys, every time you guys use it or before you use it, just clean it to make sure, um, Everyone always says, oh, you don't want to cross-contaminate. Yeah, I mean, that's not too much of an issue. My, more I my issue more is you want to clean um, to reveal more of the diamond. Because if, if it has stuff in between, the diamond is being blocked from cutting. So the reason why I wipe everything down is mainly for I want, and a lot of people say they use a toothbrush with this, so I, I agree. I like to expose the diamond. And when you wipe it down, diamond is exposed. So I'm going to hit it. Whoop, wrong one. I'm going to use the coarse 
turquoise. So this is the one that is found in the micro finishing films. You guys see that right here? So let's do, oh wait, can I use this? Oh wait, I think the orange sits a little different. Let's not complicate things. Oh, Yara says, Yara says once you created the facets, you should do it freehand. Oh, that's true. I can't see what I'm doing. Duh. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, I didn't even think of that. I'm so focused on using the tool rest. So Yaro just said something that made complete sense. Yaro says, now that you created all the initial facets, like perfectly crisp and flat, you since so you're not using the coarse abrasive anymore to change the you know shape. He says, do it freehand because you can what? You can what? You can see what you're doing. Duh. Sometimes I need someone to teach me a thing or two about the jewel tool. So you guys, you can use your tool rest again. You just got to remember what angles you did. So this one we did 118, uh, 90, and 60 degrees. So if I just follow those, I could do those again. But the last one, I couldn't see. So that might be tricky. So that one for sure I would have to do um, without the tool rest. But yeah, you can definitely use it with the tool rest. I'm, I'll show you with. And then we'll do without, okay? So here. So let's go ahead and get it set at 118. I'll use the medium. Medium diamond. Medium diamond. Again, just give it a nice little wipe down. I like to do this so it doubles as cleaning, um, releasing the diamonds, and wetting the disc. So there. I got a lot of things accomplished with that. So you guys, it's already, let me go ahead and darken this all. So pretty, huh? So this is what it looks like now. Looks so pretty. It does look like a pretty little rose cut. Thank you guys so much for watching and watching my little journey here. Yarrow like, you guys like Yarrow's tip. I know it made sense. You know, I always say make sense and I listen. If you don't make sense, you lost me. So let's see what I can do. So there, you guys see just a quick little, hello Marianne, how are you? Hello Marianne, love you too. Thank you for joining. No, 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 you didn't miss any steps. So this is basically what I just did right now. So Marianne, all we did right before this is I used the fine grinding diamond, the new diamond to create the uh, facets. And so my uh, the biggest tip, so I showed, I started at 118, just like you saw me do now. Oh, wow, that's good. Yara just spilled coffee. That's good luck, Yara. They just ordered coffee and Yara spilled it. So now I'm going to turn it off, and I'm going to move the, 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 uh, ugh, the tool rest to 90 degree. So let's see how that works run that put some water there get it going get it girl run this at full speed and let's see what happens here it's very nice so you can do this freehand whichever way you, whatever you want because you can see both ways i can see there i can see there so basically marianne that's all we really did and so you guys can do it freehand or you can go back on the, the tool rest. But in, uh, honestly, you guys, Yara was right to do it a little faster. Now that I already did the initial, I can just zip right through that real quick since I, I have a nice little holder. And you just, it's a very light touch, so you really don't have to go crazy. But if you can't hold it straight, then use your tool rest. That's all. So. Let me get these out of the way. So you have to remove the little screws if you want to put your water tray back on because they hinder where this sits. There you go. So now when I'm going to use it freehand, I just hold it here. You guys can totally see where I'm going, right? Totally see that. So I'm just going to hold it. So you can give your like a little stability kind of put your little pinky here and just kind of work like this. 
Hi, Kimmy. I'm fastening a little uh, cab, kind of like a little rose cut action. Okay, see, just really, really quick. You don't really have to hold it. Oh my god, Kat! Kat just joined in after having surgery and she's still under uh, anesthesia. A little loopy. Oh my god, I love you, Kat. I love you. I hope everything went well. It seems like it went well. You're talking and you're on Facebook, so welcome. So do you guys see how perfect I can get that like flat? Boom, right there. You guys see that? So yes, it's really quicker once you establish the original. You know what I mean? I mean, you could do this even without the tool rest, but it really establishes really crisp cuts with the tool rest. I, I won't lie. It really does. So when you're working on it, so you touch and drop kind of like how you're using the tool rest so you're gonna look you're gonna touch you can wiggle it up and down but you got to drop so no roly-poly no rolling no roly-poly so you just hold it there there we go and what else you like my recording the categorized archives I'm very happy Margaret you're enjoying those it's a great resource so just touching up. I don't know what I'm touching up anymore. Just a little touch here and there. Who's taking care of her? Brian. Oh, Brian always takes care of you. Oh, good job, Brian. You take care of that one and only uh, cat that we have. So this is what I've done so far. Hey, that looks pretty good, you guys. Really, really good. They're super loyal. So if you see some missing, eh, I don't know if you have to worry about that, but it wouldn't hurt to go over it again. So let's just touch it up just a little bit. Hi, Salas. I'm going to touch up this one one more time. Hello, Daryl Steady from Munich. Oh, hello, all is good? Danke. I was just talking to Germany today. My German distributors, Beko, they're amazing. So we're doing the facet. I think it looks good. I'm going to stop here and go to the next step. You guys see that? Hold on. You guys see that? So let me clean that up. So I like this. It's looking really good. Yeah, well, you know, Margaret, uh, it's really good. So Margaret's talking, so I'm going to go with the fine right now. But you guys, real quick, Margaret is talking about, those of you guys who are on Facebook and seeing Margaret's comment, Margaret just said that how much she enjoys our organized playlist section in our on our YouTube channel. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you, all of my videos that I've done, even all the live ones during since March, I had a like a live videos for every single day. We, really, I did it from March up until just just recently, every single day. So all of those videos, including all my other videos, are organized in specific folders in the playlist section in my YouTube on my YouTube channel. So you have to go where it says playlist, and then all these videos pop up so this one will be added to the list under um, how to facet a stone so if you want to know how to do this you know you want to watch the replay you just go to my playlist and you'll see it in a folder or it'll be full it'll be in like the lapidary section and then you click on it and find this so Yara's going to try to click uh post it but for the most part you guys and let's say you just want to watch all my live shows. Guess what? All the live shows are in one chunky folder on their playlist called live shows. So, but the live shows will still be categorized in the individual folders too, because I don't want you guys to rummage through all the live shows just to look for like say this one video. So let's keep going. We're going to use the fine diamond right now. We're almost done. Yeah, it's going to be so cool. So there you go. I just wet it real quick. 
and there you go I'm gonna run this at full speed there you go so oh let me go ahead and darken this just a quick little zippity doo da. I love that zippity doo da. Zippity doo da, zippity a. What is that? How's it go? My oh my, what a wonderful day. You see, you sing with the jewel tool, so it starts getting uh, polished at this stage. My German is fine, thank you. I try. Danke, danke, danke schön. I love my Germans. They're they're so kind to me. Every time I go to Munich for the Inhorgenta show. I know. They they invited me again to for to go to the Inhorgenta show. So hopefully it'll happen, guys. I really would like it to happen. Really. Next year. I tried looking at like business class or first class uh, tickets thinking that they'll be cheaper since no one's flying. Well, I was mistaken. They're still very expensive. Where am I? So look, you see, once you find your footing, you guys, that's what you go with. So right now I'm at the fine level, you guys. At the fine level, you can't change the like the shape. Your window of opportunity is now over. So just pay attention to what you're doing, and you'll you know that's about all you need to do. There we go. I think I oh I got I forgot this one. I made that one. Hi, Leslie Litt. Welcome, welcome. I'm good. I hope you're doing well. I'm glad you were able to make it today. Hello, Melanie Campbell. Welcome, 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 Melanie. So we went ahead and faceted this stone. So basically how I faceted this stone was, hold on, let me just touch it. You can do a side view. Was I used the... I use the, I mean, it's not the cleanest stone. It's not like an onyx. It is like a, you know, a little porous sapphire. There you go. I can't see it. There's one right there. You can? There's another there. Okay, well, there, there, that's that. I like it. It's a cute little rose cut. So I'm going to hit it with the, hit it, hit it, boys. <laughs> I'm going to hit it with the very fine. Kristen, did that make you laugh? I made Kristen Google. She, 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 she my laugh made you laugh. <laughs> hit it, boys. <laughs> Wait a minute. What is going on with me today? Oh, you guys. I have to laugh. If I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. Okay, so. <laughs> it's true. That's an Ani quote. If I don't laugh, I'm going to cry. So now when you get into the finer grades, don't cover it so much because it'll transfer onto your. <laughs> Ooh, really, Nicole? I didn't know that. Nicole says she is half German and half n n American Indian. Wow. That's cool. So where am I? Oh, there am I. So just remember where you are. This starts giving it a nice polish. So again, you're not going to ruin your facets at this stage. It's like impossible. Just make sure you're on it. <laughs> if not, you'll be rubbing against something else. So you see how I just put a little dot? I'll just make a beeline for the dot. And the second I know it's there, I just hold it there. Oh, oh I, w 
would love to ple please bring a scratched watch. I welcome them at that show. Everyone brings me a scratched watch at that show. I think they save their scratch watches just to bring it. Oh, you're so and he says, oh, I promise I'll buy a jewel tool. He said, he's so sweet. Well, I have plenty of videos. I can show you how to do it. You don't have to wait for in Horgenta because I hope to God it's not canceled. So once you find your spot, just hold it there and it'll start polishing it. Do you guys see that? You see? So just hold it there. And if you feel like you need to put more, well, hell, just put more. Well, no, don't look here. I just said, like, don't, so, like, smother the whole thing with a marker. Because sometimes that marker on your very fine will transfer. So I kind of put little dots. Do you guys see the little dots? So I didn't put a heavy coat. This is pretty thick, this one that Margaret sent me. It's really good. So I'm just saying, just on the finer grades. So just hold it there and then drop it. Don't slide off. But do you guys see that polish you get immediately? Right there. And that's a very fine, guys. And this is this is like sapphire. This is corundum for crying out loud. But I always tell you guys, the harder stones really take a polish beautifully. Well, some small are soft too. I shouldn't talk. They all take a pretty polish. Where am I? I can't even see anymore. All I see is dots. So you just want to stay in one spot. Do you guys see how the powder kind of went to the right? as it's grinding and you don't want to roll that over. You just want to stay there. Do you see that? Good. I'm glad. Where am I? I still have some areas. So this is the polishing step. You don't want to go too fast on this one. You definitely want to get it polished. What you say? Lapping is what? Yes, laughing is a wi much, much better choice than crying. Oh yeah, Nicole is planning on that show. Nicole, don't put too much pressure on yourself. I know you're a perfectionist. I, I want to talk. But honest to God, Nicole, your best is some people's like i mean you're you're no you you not being perfect is people's best so give yourself a break you see that right there give yourself a break and don't give yourself too much stress i'm gonna hit that area one more time where am i where am i there am i you see how I find my little st Okay, well hurry, I'm gonna get off right now. Yeah, okay, there, there you go. So that came out pretty good. I like that. Wow. Yeah, you can only do this because you can see what you're doing. I'm sorry for everybody else. It's pretty fun. Let me just get into this crack. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's really indented. Remember, this was just a whatever stone I found. You know what would be really cool? If you took an existing cab that you have and did a quick little, you know, um, you did a quick little, little modification, I would say, you know? There you go. That's dry right there. Pretty cool, huh? I know it's a dark stone. I bet you. I yes, I, that's why I said uh, that. Don't be so hard on yourself. Nicole, trust me, all your pieces are beautiful. People are going to see that. 
Melanie, laughing adds more years to your life. Oh, I didn't, I didn't get this spot. You guys see how it's still a mark? <laughs> so cold down here. It's got a lot of airflow. There we go. Got that. Beautiful. Okay, so now, you guys, I'm just going to hit it with the polishing. So that's the very fine. Honest to God, it's pretty polished, but I'm going to go a little finer and clean it up. So you're going to see, you guys see how there's still some, I don't know how to say it, like there's like a little, yeah, there's like a little bit of cloudiness. That's the stone's um, like imperfections. It is. So there's only so much I can do, but it looks pretty, huh? It looks cute. Little cute little sucker. Okay. So this is when I'll pull in the diamond. I'll just use my 8,000. Just really, really quick, you guys. Really, really quick. Definitely hit it with a little dot here and there, just so you know where you are and where you've been. Is I'm off camera. Oh, yeah, because Yarrow has it so darn close. Well, I'm just putting dots on it. So this is what Margaret was saying initially. To be quite honest with you, Margaret, that was a good idea. Couldn't you have thought of that before, Margaret? Hehe, <laughs> I'm just joking. Just a joke. So now we're just going to do this really quick, you guys. Now, this is just polishing. This is not going to really do anything other than polish. You can't change the facet. Yeah. Very gentle. Very, very gentle. Keep going. Don't push hard. Just kind of hold it there and let it rub. I call it the brown diamond. But God, Bonnie, you explained how to use the brown diamond so well the other day. Like, you got to let it rub. I don't know how to explain. Like, it's kind of like, remember as a kid, someone would give you an Indian burn? Do you guys remember Indian burns? Or like a rub on your hand, like to make it, like, burn? Like, just that rub. That, that, that so the, it's kind of like, I almost want to say, you got to wait for it to tug. Like, you're playing tug of war. No, and just keep rubbing, like that kind of feeling. So, because that, that's how you, because the diamonds, you got to give the chance, you got to give the diamonds a chance to work. They're so fine at these stages, at 3,000 and 50,000, you know, that you got to allow them to do a few passes and rub, you know, with a little bit of pressure, not too much, just enough to make good contact. You don't want it to be skipping over. And I am running this at slow speed. Okay, see that? Just a nice little polish. Ooh, look at that. Let's keep it going. Yes, Nicole, you will be the best there. Honest to God. I, I have that curse too. I make sure everything has to be perfect, 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 perfect. And just honest to God, Nicole... What, what I stop and have to tell myself is just be yourself. Be yourself and people will love you just for that because it's, the, it's your truth and you're already talented and if people are going to love your designs, they're going to love them. If it's not their cup of tea, then they'll move on. End the story. You know? It is what it is. You're not going to be able to please everyone, but you'll please a good amount. So don't worry about that, Nicole. Just be strong, have faith in your uh, talent, and nothing will stand in your way. And give yourself a little prayer. No I'm kidding. <laughs> there. Oh, this came out good. So these are all, I'm going to leave the little remnants of the powder just so you guys can see the facets of each one. You can see that. Thank you, Margaret. I try to, you know, sometimes, and you can't stress out over these kinds of things. You really can't stretch yourself out. 
my dad actually said something to me which is so good like there's a lot of things that you guys have no clue the things i have to deal with sometimes okay and i stress out because i too am just like nicole and everything has to be perfect just like i'm doing now like a crazy woman um but you have to kind of step back and get a perspective of things you know tell yourself in a few years is you know you stressing out gonna if you reflect on it and you think to yourself was it worth it you're gonna say no what was wrong with me so i'm telling you now don't stress hold on just let me show what i did so this is the 8,000 step. I'm leaving some of the little remnants on it just so you guys can see each facet because it is black and it kind of, it's a little bit more defined. Like see how I left that? I could wipe that off really, really quick. You know I can do that and I'm going to do that anyways before doing, uh, for the hitting the 50,000. Yes, just come to me for motivation. Anytime you need it, just hit me up, Nicole. I'll kind of put you back on track it's really it's easy when someone else tells you but when I'm in the midst of a storm and I'm like ah, freaking out I definitely need you know words to kind of like I always say like slap me back like get a grip on me and you're like okay all right you know when you're in it you don't see it you know you just focus but when other people in you know in of course in I make things worse in my head because I'm like even more of a perfectionist than you think you are. I'm just my worst enemy. I'm my worst critic. I'm my worst enemy. I, I'm just me. I always say Ani is mean to Ani. You guys have no idea how mean she could be to me. <laughs> so you guys give yourself a break. Enjoy the moment. People will just appreciate your work as it is. You know, and the one thing sometimes people always say is but that one little spot like they go on look at that one little spot I, go, I didn't even see it you see it but not everyone is going to see it so give yourself a break you know just give yourself a break like my dad always says just think of it like look at yourself like two three years from now are you really going to be so caught up with that moment saying god what was i thinking you know at that show i was just so worried during that but i it was fine why was i so worried so those things also add to your life, you know, that extra stress. So take a breather, Nicole. You got this. Or anyone else watching, you got this. You know, you can only, I always say, they're like, wow, Ani, you're so awesome. The one thing I tell everybody is I just tried my best. You can't do more than trying your best. If you tried your best, then your forehead is clean and you can sleep well at night. Honest to God, that's what I say. I can't do more than my best. And, and if you pr get put pressure on yourself, that adds to stress, that adds to, you know, pain. <laughs> you know, ailments come up, everybody, they didn't. Just, it's all here, you guys. It's all here. This controls your physical being. This controls how you feel, you know. So just like I said, instead of crying, laugh. What are you going to do? You can only do so much. And the words of 50 Cent, Kristen's going to laugh at me. She always laughs. The words of 50 Cent, you can either do one thing, you can't do two things. You can either pray or worry. You can't do both. So choose one. <laughs> it's a joke sometimes I say that, but there is truth in that. You either pray or you worry. Pick one. So, all right, that's enough for the word for today by Ani. <laughs> So you guys, I'm going to hit it, hit him and hit it with the 50,000. And you know, you guys, these are the same diamonds I keep using over and over again, people. They have a lot of diamonds. They keep giving me love. You know, people tell me this all the time. They get better as they get older. It's true. It's like, who, who says like that old good slipper? You know, these actually perform better as they get older. So like, I don't even ever want to replace these. So now... Let me go ahead and wipe this down. Yes, we are our toughest critics. And sometimes it really helps for someone else to, you know, bring us, real, reel us back in and kind of snap back, snap us back into reality. So I'll just hit this really quick with the 50,000, y'all. And I'm done. 
you know, if you were doing this in your home, you don't have to do this all in one shot. You can do the initial grind in the beginning and then come back every so often and touch it up. But for the most part, it's pretty fun. Hi, Marcy. Oh, hi, Marcy. How are you? Marcy, it's hot here today, huh? Marcy, Marcy lives where it's really, really hot in L.A. <laughs> so I'm going to run this at slow speed, you guys, and I'm just going to run over th this just really, really quick, you guys. There's not much to it. Hold on. Let's get going. Okay, so I'm just going to hit these. Perfect. There you go. There's one. Oh, my God. Look at the polish on that, you guys. Let it focus, yeah, it says. Is it focusing? You see that polish? That's 50,000 polish. Gorgeous, baby, gorgeous! Yeah, the denser the stone, the higher the polish. So once you get past that initial nasty grind, it things polish. Oh, my God. Did you guys see Bonnie's... Um, in the jewel tool community and i have to repost it too bonnie forgive me for not reposting it um bonnie mahafe's um petrified wood she finished it and oh my god the polish on that is enviable girlfriend enviable well that's that okay next Excellent work. That oh, that petrified wood that you polished, Bonnie. I mean, I like was showing that to everybody, like in person. I just forgot to repost it, but I'll I'll repost it. It I was busy with the uh, dealing with what we heard over the weekend about, you know, Armenia and stuff, so my social media attention went to that. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you. I have an I have a Jewel Tool Instagram page. That's really good. Think my daughter's telling me to remind you guys to follow it. So the new I have a I have an Instagram page. It's called Jewel Tool USA. Yaro's gonna post it right now. You guys follow me on that. It's the official Jewel Tool page. I'm going to start promoting that more. Because what ended up happening is on Instagram, you guys, that actually was my personal Instagram. And it turned into a Jewel Tool, Ani slash personal Jewel tool Instagram and people loved it. I'm like, you guys sure you want to see me walking my dogs or posting things about Armenia and stuff? And people loved it. So I was like, okay. So I left it. But my daughter who is here, Alida, our little UCLA graduate, has taken the reins and created an Instagram account for Jewel Tool. So I'll be like checking both of those accounts so Ani Jewel Tool is my Instagram account and Jewel Tool USA is the official Jewel Tool Instagram page I would say the I official I don't know she keeps saying I need an official page so that's the official page you just make sure I got everything yeah if anything my own finger is causing trouble so let me get I'm leaving uh, like marks. Yeah, do you notice that? I'm like leaving like water streaks. Do you see that? Look, when I do this, it's cleaner than when I wiped it with my hand. I guess my hand's dirty. There we go. I'll just leave it like this so you guys can see it. But other than that, they came out good. So remember, this was like, this is part of the Corundum family. So I think this was a really dark on uh, al sapphire. There we go. Wow, that came out pretty. So 
so that's dry you guys that is definitely not wet see like the areas that don't have any kind of inclusions are really nicely polished some areas that are a little you know they look po they're polished but they have a little bit of something that's the inclusion so we're gonna give that area a pass so we've got here we've got there we've got all these areas so it's a cute little like a little rose cut I would say you guys see that what do you guys think do you guys like my little faceted stone that I made myself it's kind of cool making something you know that you can say you did it so I'm very pleased with the results it's my first time See, but if I post this and I tell people it's my first time, they'll be like, yeah, right, Ani. And I'm like, but really, you guys, it is my first time doing it, but I get no, I guess everyone expects me to know everything, but I don't. And I'll be the first to admit I don't. But, you know, you learn every day. Like today I learned. You guys learned along with me. You know, I just apply the skills that I do know how to work on the discs, and I applied it to a new technique. Just like we've been doing, you guys, you know, that's what we've been doing, like, with all my lives. I try something new, but it's, you know, I do know the technique on how to get me there. But the project is something new I've never done before. So, <laughs> yay, I'm really excited. So, do you guys like this? I saw some comments earlier. I have my phone here. So, if you guys want to talk to me, I'm right here. Talk to me. Susan, it looks great, huh? Thank you. What's an Ani cut? Thank you, Tom. Marcy says pretty. Yeah, so everything I use, you guys, are found in the hard and soft stone lapidary kit. The one wheel I didn't use is the felt wheel with the compound. That one I would save for the softer stone. And the one wheel I didn't have was the turquoise. So I did skip this step. But I, but Yara, let me first say that I did not use the coarse diamond. I used the the uh, fine grinding diamond. I used the new fine grinding diamond. This was a new one. So the reason why I chose the fine because I wanted uh, the facets to be a cleaner cut. Um, sometimes when you're using the extra coarse, you might get a cut and it might flake a tiny little microscopic little chip, you know, because it's aggressive, you know. And I didn't want that. I wanted the initial grinding to be a clean facet cut, you know. And I did. I achieved that. You guys saw there was no chippage. There was no chipation. There was nothing. Those facets were clean, baby, clean. Clean. Looks great. Hi, Susan. Hi, Sue. Hey, Sue Minnick. Welcome, Sue. Hey, you guys. You guys all have to say hi to Sue. Susan Minnick is, I, I just like love you, Susan. Susan Minnick took a class with me here, right here where I'm standing, over there. Right, Sue? Um, and she had not opened her jewel tool. She had the jewel tool, God, Sue, I don't know, was it just under a year? It was just sitting in a box. So Sue took the class where she did the metal smithing and she did the stone lapidary class. Oh my God. Susan was amazing. She was polishing and she made this beautiful pendant as out of the lapidary class and polished the stone. And she, I have a video of her saying, Susan, I should post that, saying, Oh my God, this is so much fun. What was I doing leaving that jewel tool in the box all these months? So Sue is near and dear to my heart because I met her here personally and she just cracked me up. So, so and Sue, Sue, you've gotten really good on the jewel tool. So Sue has gotten so good on the jewel tool. She takes her jewel tool, well, when she could, uh, and she would show it to like grew, like if she took a teaching class, she'd take it with her and show everyone how to use it. So she's just like my like star, five stars to you, Sue. So, anyways, Melanie Campbell said hi, Sue. <laughs> Carolyn Star said hi. I know Bonnie. She said hi. So you guys are so sweet. Hi, Nancy Robertson. Welcome. 
Oh, yeah, and the fine coarse cut corundum, too. Very impressive. Yes, they cut corundum. Very impressive. Yeah, so don't forget, our diamonds are beasts, but we have different grades of the beast. <laughs> we, you know, like the extra, extra course. For example, Bonnie said, I love you, Bonnie, for that comment. Bonnie on her Jewel Tool community post was grinding, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, petrified wood. And she says, I swear it took her two and a half weeks. But when she got the extra, extra course, she said it ground beautifully. And she showed her post. Oh, it's just a beautiful. She did two posts. Gorgeous. Petrified wood on our Jolto community. So this is going to be the beast. And, you know, they go down. So this is really rough cutting when you, you know, it's a hard agate. It's a hard jasper. It's a hard, it's a hard petrified wood. I, in my opinion, petrified wood by far is the hardest from my experience. So the one I used on the show is this one. Yes, the new one. Yes, that's exactly what I use. Make somebody smile. Be nice to people. It's so true. Like really, all you have to do is nice. Can't we just be nice to one another? You know, we're here only for a short time. Why don't we just be nice to one another and just spread love? That is wonderful. You know, I love that, Tom. Thank you for that little reminder. It it is a really wow, Bonnie. Right, Carolyn? Honest to God, Bonnie, that petrified wood, you did an exceptional job. I just, I say this because, you guys, I've polished petrified wood. Yes, it polishes beautifully. But to get there, oh, like I swear giving birth was easier than a polishing petrified wood. <laughs> I swear. I might have had three kids. Oh, God. So, I just love you guys. I just want you guys to know you guys are my people and I appreciate you guys and I just find these shows to be, you guys say they're fun for you. They're equally fun for me. I just, I just love it. I love seeing you guys. I feel like it's a girl party, guy party too. You guys are all coming and I'm inviting you guys to the show. Come welcome to my party. You know, if I could offer you guys champagne and drinks, I would. It is what it is. We're here. But one day, you guys, when we do like our jewelcation, we'll be able to party together. Oh, my God. Could you imagine th that day? This seems like, will that day come? Please. So I, yes. So Yara is going to show this again. Let me put it over here. Yeah, a little back, Yara. You can see like the hair is on my head, on my neck. No, I know. But you know what I mean, my hair here. I don't have hair on my neck. <laughs> my flyaways, they are called. So it's pretty polished. You guys see that? I'm trying to catch the light, but it's really hard. Rotate it. Yara says keep rotating. Rotating. Okay, that's good. So it came out cute, you guys. Like something a little different. Even if you just want to vamp up this. Oh, oh, sorry. Look at that. Look at that. So even if you guys have a boring little cab, you guys want to spruce it up a little, kind of give it a little pizzazz, a little bam, sparkle, you know, eh, that's what you can do. I've been dying to do this ever since yesterday. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get you. So I hope you guys enjoyed me showing you guys how to use the tool rest because I know all of you, a lot of you guys got it. It was free with a gift and, um, I'm just so happy. So, oh yeah, it'll take a while. It's so true, Marcy. So, all right, guys, the hot, the hippies in the '60s had the real, <laughs> had the right idea. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, you see, yeah, well, I do, yeah, you guys. I'm just reading what you guys said. Carol Barnett, I love you, Carol. It's so true. Carol's one of you. Mm -hmm. Carol said, hello, Susan. I left my jewel tool in the box, too. It was such a blessing when Ani started live classes. I've been working, playing on my jewel tool since then. That just, like, makes my heart soar, Carol. Honest to God, I love hearing that. And you are just like a star. 
You, I remember seeing you last year in Tucson. Remember at Candy's event, and I had you work on it. And I'm like, see, Carol, it's easy, Carol. You can do it. <laughs> so you're so adorable. Yeah, it looks great, you guys. Pretty cool little stone. I know, pretty cool. You know, look, look you guys. It wasn't, it wasn't a perfect cap to begin with, and that's kind of what I was going for. It was just a random, like it was just, like I said, remember, it came out of this pile of stone. No, it's true. It came out of this pile of the rough. Just so people who don't know, I literally pulled it out of this, and I just created a little bit of a cap, and called it a day. Very quick. Nothing pre-planned. I was just flying by the seat of my pants. It's live, you know. It's funny because, oh, I have something to ask you guys. So I was talking to, remember that guy, Pablo, who's a jeweler from Spain? He does like a gazillion views on YouTube. He's quite popular. So I was talking to him earlier this week, and he, uh, yeah, Pablo Simadevilla. Um, and he was saying that we should do an online, like a video of uh, like him come on or him bring in his viewers or whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, what are you going to do? Like, what are we going to do? So I, I didn't even have a show idea. But I'm, I'm thinking about, um, I was just talking to him right now before I went live. <laughs> he was swimming. And I told him, I go, what should I ask the ladies? And he's like, I tell them to ask me anything, jewelry. So I said, okay. So if you guys want to ask Pablo any questions, I'm going to set up a time where we're both like, you know, on the split screen. We'll, we'll be both on the screen live. I'm not going to do a podcast because I know you guys like to see our faces. He just gets shy because his English isn't so good, but I tell him it's fine. So if you guys have any jewelry-related questions, of course, of course you remember Pablo. Uh, you remember Pablo. Like a Q&A, basically. But I'm going to limit it to certain questions and, like, you know, stay to stay on topic because I really want him to uh, answer questions, and it's all jewelry-related. I probably can answer all those questions, but you know what? This is a fun little show. Bring something different to your day, and it's a different perspective. You know, not everyone does the same exact thing. However, I've talked to Pablo enough, and he pretty much is a little old school like me, and he's even talked to my dad on FaceTime, and they love each other. They get along well because they all have that same old jewel tool mentality. So I really like Pablo as a jeweler. He's a really good jeweler, and he's kind of past my... On a test. And he's also passed my dad's test, which is like, oh, it's hard. <laughs> my dad <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't get impressed with much. So um, if you guys, I'm going to start asking you guys to post questions. And then we'll put them all together and ask him questions and set a time. Pablo's dying to use his new camera equipment. I'm like, well, can you kind of share some of that camera equipment? He actually said, he says, I'm quite impressed with your camera setup. He goes, that was pretty good. I go, yeah, we did all that during a quarantine time where nothing was available. So he actually told me everyone needed cameras during, you know, as soon as quarantine hit, that it was so hard for us to get cameras during that time. So I told him we did our best, and he said it actually came out good. So I was happy. Um, so just to that, he's a nice guy's work. Yes, Susan, his work is incredible. He's also a perfectionist. <laughs> Nicole said, Pablo. Yeah, so, you know, if there's any, like, specific questions you want to ask him, maybe we should put him to the test. You know what I mean, girls? <laughs> you know, I just want you to know, I have a fun relationship with Pablo. Really, honest to God, if I show you a picture that he just sent me getting out of the pool, you guys would laugh. Um, uh -huh. Th so, you guys, just so you know, it would be a fun video with him because I joke with him all the time. We joke back and forth. So just know it'll be a fun segment. It won't be boring. And none of my, you know, I won't invite anyone on my show that's boring. So he'll be like my special guest. So we'll see. So just think about questions that you guys would want to ask him. And yeah, and they'll be first or more. A lot of people have been asking if they, you know, if they, w if, if they want to come, if I would have them on my show. And I said, yeah, but 
I, I really am friends with Pablo, so I feel like a comfortable relationship with him. So I think that would be a cool little intro into that. And he wants to even do more. So let's see how it goes. So anyways, just thought I'd throw that out there. And you guys, again, thank you so much for your support on the signing the petition. It really means a lot, you guys, really. It really changes things. You know, it kind of shakes up. Your, you know, your government and your uh, White House, knowing that people, you know, are expecting them to do something. So I'm hoping it helps. Oh, yeah. So I love you guys. I will see you guys here probably tomorrow again. I got so many show ideas. Deanna Schneska said something. What? Oh, Pablo getting out of the pool. <laughs> Well, he, you know, he has his, I call him his beauty shots. I, I always joke, he looks into that camera with those blue eyes. And then I get the camera pictures. You guys, get, I'm telling you. I Bonnie says, I'll think of some soldering Yes, Bonnie, think of some good soldering questions. Think of, like, questions to really put him to the test. <laughs> I hope he's not watching. I told him I was going live. No, I don't think so. He was getting out of the pool. Um, so, no, it'll, I think it'll be fun. And I just want you guys to know, he's got a good sense of humor, so he'd laugh along with us. And that's the only reason I want him on, because <laughs> we'll have fun. <laughs> and it'll be informative and get you guys a different perspective on things. So, is that it? Okay. So, thank you guys all. I can see you guys here tomorrow. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And, Nicole, take it easy, okay? Take it easy. <laughs> Much love. Okay, bye, you guys.